Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you all how I installed these clip-ins I was sent from Curls Queen. I was super excited to get textured clip-ins because you guys, I wanted a little bit of extra length in its natural state and I wanted the hair to look like it was mine. So this is how the clip-ins came packaged. It was packaged really, really nicely and I was so surprised at how thick the bundles were, they are double wefted which is a plus and one bundle will do your whole head. At first I was a little skeptical, one bundle am I going to have enough but you all as you can see in the thumbnail I had more than enough hair and it was super full and this texture is 4B4C, it is coarse kinky fro and it is 100% Indian virgin hair. And at the bottom of the bag, I found some extra clips and some thread just in case some clips needed to be reinforced or reinstalled. And I love this bag that the hair came in because I have a tendency to put hair in Ziploc bags when I'm not using it. So I definitely needed that for when I decide to take the clip-ins out. And now I'm just showing you what the webs look like. This bundle is much thicker and fuller than what I have seen from most brands in the past. And I did go ahead and wash and condition this bundle. And it did pretty well. The curls were still there. I didn't lose any curl definition. And also I had minimum shedding which was a plus. Now I did go ahead and section a leave out just because I kind of wanted some of my hair out to make it look natural and if you are doing a leave out you do want to make sure that you have enough hair to cover the webs because nobody wants their tracks showing. Now let's go ahead and get into this braid down. The way you braid your hair if you decide to do cornrows is very important. On the side I am going to do one straight back because I didn't want to do braids going from the middle of my head to the other side because I felt like it was a lot of tension. So I'm doing a couple on this side and as you all can see I do lift the braid up and connect it to the other one just so that I can only have one braid at the end that I need to tuck up under the other ones. Now we are going to do somewhat of a curved braid and I am doing this braid like this because I want some of the hair to hang in my face and I want the clip clip in to be able to clip onto a braid that is sturdy and that is going to allow the hair to go in the direction that I want it to go. Now once you have those braids on that side, you want to go ahead and move to the other side because you want to be able to connect the braids in the middle at the end so that it is not as bulky. And here I'm just using a crochet needle to tuck the end of that braid. Now let's go ahead and start clipping the hair in. This is the fun part because it is the quickest and you're about done. I am going ahead and start above the braids that I connected in the back because nobody wants that tension back there. And this weft actually has three clip-ins on it. I'm going to say one with four for the top. And you want to make sure that you space these out decently because this hair will get bigger as you get ready to style it. I noticed that you all couldn't see how the hair was looking on my black sweatshirt so I did go and switch shirts so that you all could see a little bit better. Now I'm using the weft that has four clip-ins on it and I am going ahead and start to the front of my hair. You want to make sure that you lay these webs kind of at angles so that the webs the end of the webs are not sitting on your edges if that makes sense because I feel like it's more noticeable that way. No, no, these days I don't care for competition, you're the one that's racing no, I don't really want to talk about what I got coming out next I'm not showing up to one note just to show up in front of your friends 
Now, I do want to let you all know that it is okay to cut some of your wefts. A lot of us probably will have to cut our wefts because our heads are different shapes and sizes, but it's okay. Just cut it and you can still use it. And that is why I had that braid in the front because I wanted the hair to lay directly in my face. And that is exactly what you all want to do with these clip-ins. You want to clip the hair in in the direction that you want the hair to lay as I am doing right here. And now it is time to get into this styling part. I am going to be putting some jumbo twists in, but I am going to make sure that I detangle the hair and moisturize it just as if I would if it was my own natural hair because you guys, at the end, you all will see that this hair will definitely look like real natural hair. I did give the ends a little bit of a trim because I wanted them to look even and uniform. Now when you get to the top, go ahead and release that leave out and slick it down with your favorite gel, jam, or edge control because you want this part to look very sleek as if it would be a wash and go or twist out, however you would normally style your hair. And this is how I normally style my part. So I'm just going to make sure it's moisturized. I'm going to bring the product to the ends and I am going to detangle my hair with the extension so that I can get it as smooth as possible before putting a twist in. And once you get your twist in, you do want to go back and make sure that you have your leave out nice and smooth because we are going to tie it down and ensure that it is dry before we do the takedown. Okay y'all, so I had set up under the dryer, which is why I'm a little bit oily, but I was so surprised at how fast my leave out had got dry. So now we're just going ahead and do the takedown. So this clip is sped up a little bit, but you all want to make sure that when you're taking these apart, to be gentle and to separate the curls where they naturally separate. You guys, this hair was so super soft and so defined. I just couldn't keep my hands out of it because it just felt so, so, so good. Now, if you have shorter hair like me and you're having a little bit of trouble blending, this is a trick for you. So gather a piece of the extensions in your hair and put a little bit of gel on it and squeeze it. This helps the end of your hair blend with the extensions a little bit better so that it looks natural as you all will see in the end. You can also give it a little cool like this just to make sure that it is stuck in place.
left and I decided that I wanted more of a blunt fro so I am gonna go ahead and even my hair out all around and if you need assistance with this don't be afraid to ask I just wasn't gonna ask Stefan to cut my hair because no we're not doing that and my sister wasn't here this day so I'm just going ahead and giving myself a little bit of a trim Y'all, I am still amazed that One Bundle got this style and I actually had all of these clips left over and I just started feeling myself and then realized that, okay, I need to change my earrings and come back because I just needed like a boom effect. <laughs> Then I started feeling myself a little too much. Like, honey, like, who could tell me that this is not my hair and that it is not growing out of my scalp, even though I know it's not? But, you guys, this looks good and it looks like my natural hair before I cut it. Really, really hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one.